Shalom. We the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in and week out. Give you this truth of the scriptures. First and foremost, want to give all praises, glory, honor to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, which is the correct, correct Hebrew name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, with a real ignorant called Jesus, Jehovah, and a bunch of improper translations that don't line up with scriptures, no facts, no artifacts. But uh, want to give double honors and elders to the elders of Great Millstone, you know, the elders of Israel, who the Most High gave his word to according to scripture, which is prophecy. Double honors to them men that rule well, and the men likewise around the world pushing his word out, truth, sincerity, and charity. Basically, want to go into this topic real quick. This lesson on Psalms 51. You know, Lord willing, pull a couple of precepts out. But you know, the whole vibe of this um video, which is for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, it's basically a repent. You know, what the most I require. And I'm using King David as an example because, you know, this is a one of the songs of David when Nathan the prophet came out, you know, as it reads, after he committed a sin, man, he committed adultery, you know, and it's right after that, how he was feeling, you know, in true sincerity and charity, how he felt towards the Lord, how he felt to breaking his commandments and going off, although he was king, although he was a mighty man, he could have hardened his heart, he could have had any woman that he wanted, but he felt the Lord and he um, was of a humble, contrite heart after that, man. As it's going to read. And the whole point is, that's what our people need to do, you know, as a whole. You know, I speak to myself first, too, because I have to, I had to once do that as well. And I have to continue to remain humble and meek and know the precious gift that I have to preach this truth and make the videos. And not only that, to be a part of this blessing, you know, and it's just a message to myself and those as well, man. Because if we do that, you know, we'll be better standing with the most high. You know, whether those coming into the truth or still being in the truth. And I'm going to use King David as an example, starting with Psalms 51, verse 1, to the chief musician, a song of David, when Nathan the prophet came unto him after he had gone into Bathsheba, um, you know, after he committed adultery with another man's wife, when you read about the account, you know, have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy love and kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions, you know, because the most high. You know, although he's um he's a fear and power, man, that you should fear. And austere, he's boundless too, man. He got love and mercy that he showed towards his uh, creation. And all, and he, although he showed that, he showed it mainly to everybody, man. Everybody don't see it. But, you know, he chose a particular group of people that's he dealing with. But within that, you know, people hard head. They go off They when they uh do things that they shouldn't be doing. They harden their hearts, you know. And the Lord requires us to repent and turn back to him, which is when I read on, it's going to say, because the, the Lord is boundless, man. He'll jack you up. But if you pray and you're really sorry for, for what you did, he'll forgive you. But he's not a power to be taken light of, as the church folks do and that they preach, saying the law is done away with, and the most I hate the sin, not the sinner. That's not, that's not proper. You know, that's not a proper understanding according to scriptures. But according to scripture, the most I say he's going to give us pastors. That's going to give us the proper understanding according to his heart, roughly paraphrasing Jeremiah 3 and 15. And that's the elders of Great Millstone, man. You know, verse 2, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. And how you do that when you read the scriptures, you take heed to the law, statutes, and commandments of the most high and walk in them. Rather to the least the greatest. And King David, the most mightiest warrior, displayed that. You know. Psalms 119-9, wherewith shall a young man cleanse his way? There's a question about taking heed thereunto according to thy word. You know, this is another Psalm of David, you know, but that's how you cleanse your way, man. And you get a couple more scriptures and precepts, you know, because that's how you teach, man. That's how the elders taught us to teach, precept upon precept, line upon line. Not only that, man, but true sincerity and charity and the raw truth, man. That's just how it is. But um, reading on, uh, say, for I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. So, again, you know, he's acknowledging his sins. He's acknowledging that he messed up. He acknowledged that he transgressed. You know, I'm not doing that. That's how he uh, received the mercy. 
the grace of the Lord and reading on, you know, uh, when you reverse first John one and nine, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us in our sins and to cleanse us from our unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. So that's what King David was displaying, man. He's confessing his sins, you know, and the Lord was faithful and just to forgive him. And that's how we ought to be, you know, in verse 10. That's how we not ought to be. It's how these church folks push, how these Israelites, leaders of these other false camp push, man. How you ask, see, and ask, you PK being the main. And those that follow under that uh, vibration, man. Proverbs 28 and 13. He that covereth his sin shall not prosper. But whoso confesseth and forsaken them shall have mercy. And that's what you do to the Lord when you repent, man. You acknowledge that then. You read and how to conduct yourself. You take heed unto the word, how you clean yourself, man. The true spirit of the Lord, baptism by the man you set up. Then as you do that, you get uh, built up and nourished and you go out and teach others, man. And you continue to examine yourself until we endure to the end. The saints shall be saved. You know, the Lord is not a man you shall lie. He's not righteous to forget our labor love, which you show toward his name, which is the true name, which we have. You know, and that's the whole vibe, man. That's the great millstone push. It's Acts 3 and 19. Repent ye, therefore, and be converted, which means come back to your true law, statutes, and heritage. You know, you're not Africans. You're not black. You're not Muslims. You know, not Christians. We're the sons of gods, man. The princess, you women. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And he shall send Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, which is the true correct name, which before was preached unto you. And we still preaching today because there's a thing called reincarnation. And the prophets and the elders are back today, man, on the highways and byways and on YouTube. And the so-called white man, which is the devil, he's going to come down on us on wrath and persecute us because he know that we condemn him in his kingdom because ours is up next. That's why we got to repent and get right, man, because we got greater things ahead of us. This is James 4 and 8. Draw nigh unto God, and he will draw nigh unto you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your heart, ye double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning and your joy into heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. You know, and that's what you got to do. You got to be meek, man, no matter if you're in a great position or low, man. King David displayed that. When you read and going hopping back, he was the king, man. He could have hardened his heart. He could have did all that, man. But he was a man after the Lord's heart, man, as the scriptures say. So, hey, this is a perfect example to read and meditate upon. Verse 4, against thee, thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shaping in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hid parts thou shalt make me to know wisdom. And that's how you conduct yourself, man. You know, the wisdom. Because wisdom brings to a kingdom, man. Wisdom comes from the scriptures, comes from above. Because the wisdom of this world is not wisdom, but it's wickedness, man. Because it's perverted, man. I see the left-hand side of things. But we read the scriptures, man. Take heed and the law, statutes, and commandments, and the spirit of the Lord through the man you set up. You get the uh, fullness of life and things in the general itself. And how to stay on the right side of things. And our wisdom come from the Lord, knowing that by reading the scriptures. Verse 7, purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me shall be whiter than snow. You know, and that's how you do it through the words of the spirit of Yahweh coming back, being humble, being contrite. Verse 8, make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. And that's the main point. Because if you want forgiveness, if you want to be saved, if you want the kingdom, and you want the salvation and the mercy, you have to ask for this. You have to meditate upon this. You know, and that's how the Lord created a clean, clean, clean heart, which is your man, you know, and the right spirit within you, man. The spirit of Yahweh Shah, the spirit of prophecy, the spirit of righteousness, and not the spirit of rebellion, disobedience, heart in your neck, and being disobedient to your parents. You know, your spiritual parents, man, which is in the truth that you learned the truth from, or your physical. You know, cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Because if you receive his word, you receive his truth, you want to pray to the Lord that he take not the Holy Spirit from you. You want to endure to the end so you can receive the rewards. Because if you know this and fall out, you're going to get beat with many stripes. And if you rejected it, 
your judgment is still going to come, man. You're going to be considered as the two-third club, which is going to receive judgment in either the force or judgment, the famine, destruction, pestilence, however, firing squads, anything, man. No mercy judgment or the ultimate end all be all, which is the nukes, ICBM nuclear missile fire. That lake of fire, man, which is the scriptures say, that second death, which through your Howard Shire, who the ignorant calls a bunch of false names, and Jesus Christ, that's how we able to escape. But his true name is your Howard Shire, man, our savior. He deliver, that's his name, you know. As that King Dave was feeling, man. And that's the way else we got to pray, not that spirit to be taken away from us, man, not to go off again, because the wages of sin is death. And rejecting the Lord leads to death, man, which is coming upon America. And the only way you're going to be saved out of is you part of elect. And that's what the scripture is saying, Jeremiah 30 and 7. And according to Daniel 12, there's a day like no other that's going to come upon this place, man. And America, as you see around the world of Venezuela. And the prophets, we just give you warnings, man, just to add that in there. You know, verse 12, restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgression thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Once you acknowledge, repent, and be humble, then you can teach transgressions and make videos on the highways and bad ways. Then you have the right to say, stop doing what you're doing and repent. Because you was once then, you know what the Lord requires through the spirit that he gave us, which we should rejoice, man. Verse 14, deliver me from the blood guiltiness, O Yahweh, thy power of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness, which is the correct name of the Father, man. And we sing it aloud of his righteousness, man. You know, spiritually, doing these how videos and going out of highways and byways and declaring the most highest plan, you know. And the ready um, you know, brothers sing spirit um physically, man, spiritually message that they do for the brothers. You no. Know? But mainly talking about these scriptures, man. Verse 15, O Lord, open thou my lips and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. And you do that by having a correct understanding, man, to the law and to the testimony, giving the correct Understanding the scriptures, man, precept upon precept. If not, they 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 going off. And the man that display that is the elders of great millstone, if you the spirit reveal it to you. Verse 16, for thou desires not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. And that's why Yahweh Shah came on the scene, man, because he's the last ultimate sacrifice for the elect, man. And he came for the Israelites, man. But the two thirds rejected him, so they're gonna get destroyed. And you know, we under grace, we under mercy. Because back in the Old Testament, you would have had to give sacrifice, man, for your sins. And, you know, when you read the law. But that's why we have Yahweh Shai, man. He's our savior. He's our way out of He's our ticket. You know, and what we're doing as far as going the highways and byways and singing it loud and uh, telling our people to come back so we get out of here. You know, that's what the most high delight in when you read them. And being humble and being meek. Verse 17. The sacrifice of God are a broken spirit, a, a broken and a contrite heart. O oh God, thou will not despise. Knowing that you messed up, knowing you're not, not worth Knowing what you did in the truth, outside the truth, man. But you don't let your sins weigh you down. You don't let them build up. You keep pushing forward. You know, you learn the righteousness, you repent, and you declare the righteousness, man, to your best ability in your uh, your lot, man. You know, that's why we are body together, man. Not just here in GMS Chicago, but all across the world, man. We are body. But you know, your brothers help you to make it easy on you. You know, we all push this word together and going through the same thing. But the stuff we're going through now is nothing. Verse 18, do good and thy good pleasure unto Zion, which is you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans who fit the curses, man. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with burnt offerings, with whole burnt offerings. Then shalt thou offer bullocks upon thy altar. You know, Lord willing, we want to be the ones to do that, man. Do pleasure, do good in Zion and build the walls of Jerusalem, man. To be called the repair of breach, as the scriptures say, man. You know? And, uh, with, you know, I just want to bring that out, man. But when I was that was out of time, man, because we got to repent and get right, and we got to declare the Lord's will. And King Dave was a mighty example. And not only him, but men that you read about. And the, the top one being Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus, man. That's why we in this jam. You know? But with that, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Barasham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And all the brothers pushing the word down, truth, sincerity, and charity. Shalom.